nigga finna get loose. Huh? A nigga finna get loose. Huh? A nigga finna get loose. Huh? A nigga finna get loose. <laughs> when you was with Nori and Fab and Jada and mm. everybody, they made a compilation video with you because they said you were sounding real suspect mm. on the on the interview. Yeah. Did you see that? Of course, nah. did he see it? Nah, I didn't see it. You didn't see it? I saw the guy. Oh, Come yeah. on, man. You saw that on World Star. And on the gram. Check this out. When they started playing the game, the pause game, I would definitely. That came from Harlem, too, by Yeah, the way. came from Harlem. I definitely would say some, oh my, woo crowd would be like, whoa, did he just say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play games, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I don't play games. But um, yeah. Did the you compilation, nah, I was I was coming off of being in Miami at night of party and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Hey, play, hey yo, play listen, some. yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my bag Daddy, I like when you when oh, you scrambling right here, right here. and scraping. For that was you scrambling. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said I like when you do it like that, Daddy. <laughs> when you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> If so, bump somebody. I, 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 I love you, man. Right. I got my MTV out. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! Yes! What's next? What's next? I got to get it. I'm not going to stay down. I'm not going to stay down. I'm not. I can't do that, man. I can't do that. What's next? Give me something else. What can't you do? I can do it. I can do anything. Being a celebrity can be a mixed bag sometimes, man. Sure, everybody wants success and all that jazz, but it also comes with its fair share of BS, especially when you're African American. Walking into stores like Walmart or Target, you hope nobody decides to start something with you. You always have to keep that positive civilian vibe. You feel me? Breischer Gray tried to explain himself in a new video posted to discuss how he was traumatized at Diddy and Will Smith parties. The cases against Diddy are taking some extra turns. You, you have to be focused. You don't know what your brain is doing. All you want to do is just be good at what you do. So I'm saying I didn't trust him, but I felt that, you know, his parents are there. They gave us food. I just passed out. I passed out. I knew, and I knew when I woke up, I'm like, she's going to be mad at me. She's going to be extremely mad. So after that, the cops. Oh, wait, wait, the wait. So for, uh, we'll go with, we'll go with that. The cops. The cops. What about what? At your door. Hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. About me. I want to make sure I understand your story. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to tell you your story. On, like, I remember this one time, man. I was at this party. Didn't really trust the vibes. But hey, the parents were there. So I thought, cool, they got food. I'm in. Next thing I know, I'm waking up on the floor, and I just knew whoever was in charge was going to be pissed at me. And then, to top it off, the cops showed up at the door. Talk about a wake-up call, says Breischer Gray. You know, he's surrounded by a whole lot of strength, he's surrounded by a whole lot of love, and all he has to do is add discipline, and he's gonna be all right. You roll with the punches, you know? You wake up, look around, and see John playing Fortnite like nothing has happened. Life, man, is wild sometimes. Not only that, but William Cat. Do you remember his interview? He said some sketchy things about Diddy as well. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. 
I did. Oh, See, man. I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can say them so freely. Kid, I need, kid, I need another one. You here? Get you another one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. This whole surviving Diddy saga is dropping bombshell after bombshell, huh? Bryce Gray just jumped into the chat, and he's spilling all the tea about how Diddy and Will Smith allegedly dragged him into some freaky parties, and then sabotaged his career when he tried to speak up. And remember Jaguar? She had some solid things to say. They do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. Meek Mills. Bashir Gray left that house screaming. August's the only one that stayed, and I guess he was really sick. He needed a doll. But now, Gray's had enough and is ready to lay it all out there. Was Diddy and Will putting him through hell at these parties, or did Gray self-destruct? It's a messy situation, no doubt about it. And just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, we're hit with even more drama. Lawsuits, federal investigations, tapes from raids, this whole thing's turned into a circus. But hey, if there's one thing we know for sure, Diddy's reputation might take an even bigger hit after all this mess. Bryshire Gray sues Will Smith and Diddy for $50 million. In a shocking turn of events, actor and rapper Brisher Gray, best known for his role as Hakeem Lyon on the hit TV show Empire, has filed a lawsuit against two of the biggest names in the entertainment industry, Will Smith and Sean Diddy Combs. According to the lawsuit, Gray claims that Smith and Diddy conspired to sabotage his career and reputation and owe him $50 million in damages. The lawsuit, filed in Los Angeles Superior Court, alleges that Smith and Diddy were jealous of Gray's success and talent. They used their influence and connections to spread false rumors about him, block him from projects, and interfere with his contracts. The lawsuit also accuses Smith and Diddy of orchestrating Gray's arrest in 2020, when he was charged with domestic violence and assault after allegedly choking his wife and refusing to cooperate with the police. Gray's lawyer, Michael Avenatti, said in a statement that his client is a victim of a malicious and coordinated campaign by Smith and Diddy, whom he called two of the most powerful and vindictive men in Hollywood. Avenatti said that Gray has evidence to prove his allegations and is seeking justice and compensation for the harm done to him. Following the incidents, several celebrities, including 50 Cent, criticized Diddy, who mocked the rapper. Old frightening clips of Diddy resurfaced, including interactions with a young Justin Bieber. <laughs> what? You said, I like when you do it like that, Daddy, when you're scrambling and scraping for <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. Hey. Nah, nah. I mean, I was you don't caught, go back no, and no. look at that stuff and laugh. I mean, it's, I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like. I'm you sure know, we can put Charlemagne's compilation against Diddy's compilation. Oh, we have a bunch. We put Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I also, I also don't do it because I know I'm, I know I'm bad at the game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth that's just not maybe you know adding up to with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic, but I'm not homophobic and I really don't you know care. You know what I'm saying? I just. But um, I'm bad at the game, and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. I would love to see the video compilation. It's hilarious. 50, yeah. 50 came up here, and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab to party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it, play it, play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, yeah, we, we partied for my birthday before. You came to my party. And... No, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? I asked 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a nice guy. <laughs> yo, what? I mean, why are you with him? Hey, yo. Why y'all got? Hey, yo, I don't have no beef with, 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 with. I don't know why. With, with Fifth, he loves me. He loves me. Do y'all really can't have see a beef? It? I mean, y'all can't see no, it. No, we can't see it. Y'all can't see that he loves me? But see, you really, hold on, you really think that's hate? You really, when you really break it down, you've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. Okay. But why? But why not? Y'all just y'all both passionate. Y'all both. I don't know. I, I, yo, check this out. I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. Both the same. No, we are not. Okay. We, we are not the same. <laughs> but I mean, we are not cut the from you the same cloth. Work and work hard. Yeah, and 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 um, you know, I mean, I respect that. I don't. I don't never hit him with no, you know, nothing. I don't even think of no other man, man. Besides, 
If I'm thinking about another man, I'm thinking about uplifting. I'm not thinking about all that. All them gnats, you know, they, they can't really touch me. Y'all, at the end of the day, y'all see and y'all know what it is. You know, the, the track record, y'all, y'all know the business acumen, y'all know the community service, y'all know what I'm about, you know? And um, when he does that, it's, 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 it's like funny to me. I don't really take it personal. I know he has a different sense of humor and he's just not in my life. We don't have to never cross paths. And um, I will never say nothing negative about him, you know, because that's just not me. It feels like something must have happened, though, like that we just don't know about behind the scenes. He loves me. That maybe a situation, a deal went bad. Nah, some, I don't know some, what it is. Sometimes, um, sometimes people that, that, that feel like they don't like you and they act like that, they really love you. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, just saying it to say, you know. But I, I mean, like, I mean, it's, some, it's, it's something about me that has him on me all the time. And I'm not going nowhere. 50 Cent has an ongoing feud with Diddy and has declared a desire to collect compromising footage from Diddy's purported freakout parties. On Instagram, the How We Do star shared a photo of charges from court docs filed against his competitor, Rodney Lil Rod Jones. Fiddy captioned his post, Sem H, this is gonna be so good what you want to bet, I'm going to get these tapes. I'll pay top dollar for them. Have you gone over there? I don't go to puffy parties. So, what is said to have occurred at these parties? Was Diddy suspected of having hidden cameras? According to Lil Rod's lawsuit, Diddy, real name Sean Combs, hid multiple cameras in his Los Angeles and Star Island properties. The paper said, while living and traveling with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones discovered that Mr. Combs had hidden cameras in every room of his home. The court documents stated that Combs has recordings of several celebrities, artists, music label executives, and athletes engaging in illegal activity. These individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. They additionally stated, Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person who has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties. The lawsuit alleges that Combs frequently hosted sex trafficking parties where illegal substances were used. According to reports, the singer's alleged mule was captured with cocaine at Miami International Airport, and police raided the rapper's houses in Los Angeles and Miami. TMZ obtained legal paperwork indicating that 25-year-old Brendan Paul was arrested Monday. He is facing two charges, one for possession of suspected cocaine and another for alleged marijuana possession. The shelves and stuff like that. So there's one part he picked up uh, some things from up here on my left side. And then he, he picked like a, quite a few of them down. I'm like, you okay. He put them in the bag. So when I went by there and I looked up there I, and it said butt plug. Later on that, I think that afternoon, this rapper and him, they all in the room together. Puffy Flavor Cam. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Cam. Yeah, Flavor Cam. Yeah, that's what it was called. Well, very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh-huh. Well, I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, with my bag. Daddy, yeah, I like when you, when you right scrambling here, right here. and scraping no, 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 shit. No, 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 I, got I no like that. Shit. You said, I like when you do it like that. A record producer, Jones has brought a $30 million lawsuit against Diddy. He adds that Diddy's links to celebrities provided him and his companions a sense of legitimacy. Jones's lawyers claim that these relationships brought guests to the accused sex trafficking gatherings. He's a sex worker. He's got guns and he's got semen coated fucking VHS tapes. No. No. Okay. I would have went in in a hazmat suit. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. Um, when you first told us about your thoughts and you, what you, you, honeycombs is what you- Yeah, the honeycomb. What? Shout out to Jamil Peterson. He's added a new one. He called him the Diddy Glover now. Cause when he ain't got the Beijing and he say he look like Danny Glover. Oh man. So he's AKA Diddy Glover now. Shout out to Jamil Peterson, I am comedy. When you take a step like executing search warrants so publicly at two different locations. It means you've had, you have amassed significant evidence. You've got probable cause to believe a crime has been committed, which is the same standard for arrest. Uh, so it's significant. Now, obviously, as a federal prosecutor, you want to make sure you have proof beyond a reasonable doubt when you, when you charge a case. So they're continuing to investigate, but it's certainly a significant step. Bruh, 
I can't say, because I can't say that. When I used to see him swing, it was always with him, another dude, and two girls. You know what I'm saying? When he was swinging with other people, you know what I'm saying? He always had other girls in the room or another guy in the room, even with his girl Kim, and he was swinging with her. So that freak off things, but him videotaping and everything like that, no, I can't say that I was privy, privy to that. But you knew what was going on, you know, uh, just when... Just in the instant when people got it confused when I said uh, when he was in the room with Sarah and her girlfriend and he had Ja Rule and him in the room. Yo, I didn't know they was doing anything freaky until Ja came out and said, yo, y'all didn't want to be in there because there's a lot of freaky things going on. So... I guess that was one of those freak off sections. <laughs> but other than that, I couldn't say anything. That girl went through some tumultual shit that she never thought that she would ever have to go through being in the music business. Do you understand that? I've, I've been next to people who are top in the game in the music business and they had said to me yo I had to suck a lot of to get to this position you understand they have said that so I can imagine what that little girl went through with old boy she ain't lying that thing because if she would have lied he would have fought her tooth and nail. He would have fought her tooth and nail, bruh. Don't get it messed up, Art. He would have fought her tooth and nail. That little girl ain't lied nothing that she ain't lied about none of that. Do you know what she's going through? She know what she's going to go through for the rest of her life? Her kids going to go back and see this on the internet? He was a groomer. He was a, he was, a, he was, he was an addict. He was somebody that was a, what you, what you call those? I, I, I've lost all of my terminologies. <laughs> then when I was working as a, a, a BCW, a, a child abuse worker, but he was an individual that preyed on this young girl using her dreams, her talents, holding it hostage for his own benefit. He groomed her. He wasn't no father. He was no father figure to her, bruh. Legal documents filed in New York last month alleged that Diddy had access to well-known figures such as top athletes, politicians, artists, entertainers, and international VIPs. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.